Hey, what's going on guys? On today's how-to, I'm going to be showing you how to install a harness bar. I just got this off one of the forums used from a guy, and I got it really, really cheap. So, pretty excited. Let's get started. Alright, so first step is get access to where your seat belts originally connect. That's a 14 mil. So that comes off, and then we'll do the other side. Alright, now that we got that off, you follow the seat belt down come down to the other mounting bolt and this is underneath the carpet so you're going to have to wiggle it out a little bit. Uh, this is where the support beams will connect for the harness bar and these are 14 millimeter also. Next up on where the top of the belt connects just pop this off and then you have this little lock washer in here. The best way to do it, I already got started, but take a pair of pliers and just grip it on the sides and then you can hold it just turn the bolt then you can turn this thing. That'll get the lock washer out. It's off, and then the bolt will come out. And that should be a spacer in there. Yeah, and that's attached inside there. There you go. So, lesson just learned. Before you completely freak out like I did and think the harness bar is way too wide for your car somehow, Move your seatbelt attachment points all the way down. Don't leave them up. All the way up. Because it won't work. It won't even look like it's going to fit. So move them down, then you'll have plenty of wiggle room to bolt everything back up. Alright, so I did buy this harness bar used, and the guy who had it on his car had it on a 2009. Uh, he said it can fit 2002-2007, and the spacer on the bottom is what he had used to install it. Uh, the one on top goes to the bottom mount on the seatbelt, and that looks like it's going to fit the best because it'll allow enough threads to go into the car. The top one just doesn't. So I don't know what comes with a brand new one, but if you need any help, just let me know. And use your best judgment. I mean, if there's only a couple threads into the mounting holes, then it's probably not good. probably need a different size spacer, so I'm going to use the top one. So the way to do this, bolt with washer will go into your seatbelt point and then that'll go onto the harness bar and then as I said small washer or spacer goes onto the back side of that and then this will fall into place just like that and get that going Alright, so now we got both of the sides in loose because we still need a lot of wiggle room because the support bars are like tensioners so you can move the thread of the bolt in and out. So it's best to have this loose. But so far, so good. Alright, right now we're looking at the uh, bottom support. So on the very, very inside we have the original seat belt and then this is going to be one of the lap belts on the harness and then the actual support for the harness bar. Uh, I cut the carpet to shreds just to kind of make it easier to get in there, but there is this little hole right here that's actually a hole in this uh, white foam and you can just cut a hole in the carpet and then you can get the bolt through and it'd be easier to get the bolt in there too and get a socket on there. Um, depending on how long your bolt is, you could actually put the support bar on the outside of the carpet, but whatever you want to do, just make sure you have enough threads in there. Uh, the reason I did this is because I wanted the harness on the outside of the seat belt and then this support bar is actually going to be at an angle. You know, it's going to sit probably about right here. So I didn't want anything crossing, you know, crossing streams. I didn't want anything pinching up against anything else. So this looks like the best way. One other thing for the support bars. The bolt that comes with that goes into the upper part of the shoulder only fits in one side. So, I mean, hopefully you could figure that out sooner than later, but just to let you know there is a top and bottom. It looks like the best way to get these things adjusted is just to loosen up one of the nuts. Again, I don't know how they come brand new, but loosen them up and get one side kind of loose like the other support beam, and then you can just sit here and twist this until you get the right adjustment you want. So after you got the height adjusted, I was trying to figure out whether these go on the inside or the outside. I'm sure there was a correct way as the instructions, but 
just feeling this out there's a lot of tension I have to push towards the inside to get that to sit and then to go on the outside there's nothing so to me it'd make more sense it puts less strain on the bolt on the bottom just to put it on the outside so now that you got the support rods on make sure you tighten all the nuts that actually lock this in place uh, top and bottom and then obviously make sure all your bolts are really really tight because this is your seat belt essentially so now for the best part installing the harnesses so best way to do this I have the wraparound kinds with this little buckle just kind of put them where you think they go and then you can move the seats back to where those are supposed to go and just kind of test fit them as you know as best for you so hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching